How can you tell if someone's kindness is genuine or just a mask for manipulation? Trust, it's the invisible glue that holds our relationships together, be it with friends, family, partners, or even acquaintances. Yet, in the complex web of human interactions, discerning who truly deserves our trust is a skill of paramount importance. In today's insightful exploration, we're diving deep into the realm of relationships to identify nine types of individuals with whom trust might be a risky venture. We're not here to complicate things, rather, let's dissect and understand these personalities through the lens of their actions and words. Why? Because trust is a treasure too precious to squander. Together, we'll journey through each type unraveling the reasons why caution might be your best ally. I'm not suggesting disrespect or mistreatment, as that is not the stoic way. Instead, it's about recognizing the right time to create distance from those whose questionable traits could potentially disrupt your peace and well-being. So, join me in this insightful voyage through the nuances of trust, and let's learn when and why to maintain a safe distance. Our first stop, the world of the manipulative individual. Why trusting and respecting them might be a path best avoided. The trust illusion, unveiling, manipulative kindness. In a world where interactions are laced with hidden intentions, it's imperative to discern the authenticity behind gestures of kindness. Not all smiles are warm, and not all helping hands are held out in goodwill. The first type of individual that often challenges our trust is the seemingly benign, yet covertly manipulative personality. These individuals often cloak their self-serving agendas in acts of kindness. Their generosity comes with strings attached, weaving a web where others are unwittingly trapped. They possess an uncanny ability to read emotions, using this insight to their advantage. It's like dealing with a chess master in the guise of a friend. They are always two steps ahead, orchestrating situations for their gain. Recognizing these master manipulators requires keen observation and a refusal to be swayed by surface level pleasantries. They often exhibit a pattern of inconsistency. Their words don't match their actions. They might shower you with compliments and favors but these are tactics to build a dependency, not genuine expressions of affection. To safeguard yourself from such deceptive kindness, it's essential to develop emotional intelligence. Understand the difference between selfless generosity and strategic giving. A manipulative individual's kindness is often conditional, designed to elicit specific responses or actions from you. It's a transaction not a genuine interaction. In navigating relationships, it's crucial to maintain a balance. Learn to appreciate genuine kindness while being wary of ulterior motives. Develop a circle of trust based on mutual respect and honest communication. Remember, true kindness doesn't expect a return. It's given freely and selflessly. As we dive deeper into exploring different personalities that challenge our trust, Remember, not all that glitters is gold, and not every act of kindness comes from the heart. Be discerning, be aware, and most importantly, trust your instincts. 2. The constant criticizer, the red flag in relationships. Have you ever encountered someone who seems to thrive on negative commentary? The constant criticizer is a character in the tapestry of human relationships who can erode trust and create discomfort with their relentless criticism. This individual seems to find a flaw in every situation, always ready with a biting remark or a disparaging comment. Why is it a red flag? Criticism, when excessive and unjustified, can not only be hurtful but also reveal a deeper problem in a person's character. It often masks insecurities and a need to feel superior by putting others down. Trusting someone who is constantly negative can be draining and damaging to your own sense of self-worth. What to look out for? 
pay attention to how they talk about others. Are they always finding fault, even in minor things? Do they enjoy gossiping and spreading negativity? This behavior is a clear indication of their lack of empathy and respect for others. How to handle it? It's crucial to set boundaries with such individuals. Express your discomfort with their negativity and, if needed, distance yourself from their harmful influence. It's important to surround yourself with people who uplift and support you rather than those who constantly tear others down. Remember, while constructive criticism can be beneficial, constant negativity, under the guise of just being honest, can be toxic. Trust and respect those who bring positivity and understanding into your life and be wary of the constant criticizer who may erode the trust and joy in your relationships. The overly friendly a trust hazard. Next on our exploration is the overly friendly individual, those who wear a permanent smile and seem to befriend everyone they meet. On the surface, they exude charm and sociability, but here's a word of caution. Their constant need to please and remain in everyone's good graces may mask a deeper, less sincere motive. Why caution is necessary. These individuals often prioritize their own image and popularity over forging genuine, deep connections. To them, each person is just another addition to their collection of acquaintances, a means to bolster their social standing. This superficiality in relationships suggests that their loyalty and trust might be as fleeting as their countless friendships. The risk of being just another face. With such people, you risk becoming just one of many in their social network. Their attention and care, though seemingly warm, might lack depth and personal investment. They might be quick to move on, replacing you as easily as they welcomed you. Understanding their true motives. It's important to recognize that those who are excessively friendly and outgoing might be driven more by a desire for attention and affirmation than a genuine interest in you. While they might not intend harm, their actions could lead to feelings of neglect or insignificance on your part. Protecting your trust. So, when you encounter someone who seems too good at being everyone's friend, take a moment to observe and reflect. Ask yourself, are they truly interested in a meaningful connection or am I just another audience member in their performance of popularity? Trust is a delicate and valuable asset. It's essential to invest it in those who value depth and authenticity in their relationships. In our journey of discerning trust, the overly friendly serve as a reminder that not all smiles are born from the heart. Sometimes they're just a facade, a strategic move in the social chess game. Stay tuned as we delve into the next character type where trust might need a second thought. The pretend listener, the art of faux engagement. As we continue our journey through the landscape of trust, we encounter the pretend listener. This individual is the master of the illusion of engagement, often present in conversations but not truly participating. They may nod and agree, but without genuine involvement or interest. The dilemma of surface level communication. Engaging with the pretend listener can be frustrating. You might find yourself in a conversation where they seem to listen, but are actually distracted, offering only half-hearted responses. It's like speaking into a void where your words are heard, but not truly absorbed or valued. Recognizing the signs. The pretend listener often displays certain telltale signs. They might frequently check their phone during conversations, agree without fully understanding, or change the topic abruptly. These behaviors indicate a lack of genuine interest in what you're saying and a superficial approach to communication. Why your words deserve more. When in conversation with the pretend listener, you might feel unacknowledged and undervalued. Remember, your thoughts and feelings are important and deserve an attentive audience. 
If someone consistently fails to engage genuinely, it's a sign that they may not be worthy of your trust or the deeper aspects of your friendship. Navigating conversations with the pretend listener. To deal with such individuals, it's okay to express your discomfort or even decide to end the conversation. There's no need to waste your energy on someone who only simulates attention. True communication requires mutual respect and attention, and it's crucial to invest your time and trust in those who genuinely offer it. Final thoughts. In the tapestry of human interactions, the pretend listener serves as a reminder to cherish those who truly listen and engage. As we continue our exploration, remember to value your voice and seek out connections that resonate with authenticity and mutual respect. Stay tuned as we uncover the next character that might challenge your trust. The pretend listener, the art of faux engagement, as we continue our journey through the landscape of trust, we encounter the pretend listener. This individual is the master of the illusion of engagement, often present in conversations, but not truly participating. They may nod and agree, but without genuine involvement or interest. The dilemma of surface level communication. Engaging with the pretend listener can be frustrating. You might find yourself in a conversation where they seem to listen, but are actually distracted, offering only half-hearted responses. It's like speaking into a void where your words are heard, but not truly absorbed or valued. Recognizing the signs. The pretend listener often displays certain telltale signs. They might frequently check their phone during conversations, agree without fully understanding, or change the topic abruptly. These behaviors indicate a lack of genuine interest in what you're saying and a superficial approach to communication. Why your words deserve more. When in conversation with the pretend listener, you might feel unacknowledged and undervalued. Remember, your thoughts and feelings are important and deserve an attentive audience. If someone consistently fails to engage genuinely, it's a sign that they may not be worthy of your trust or the deeper aspects of your friendship. Navigating conversations with the pretend listener. To deal with such individuals, it's okay to express your discomfort or even decide to end the conversation. There's no need to waste your energy on someone who only simulates attention. True communication requires mutual respect and attention and it's crucial to invest your time and trust in those who genuinely offer it. Final thoughts. In the tapestry of human interactions, the pretend listener serves as a reminder to cherish those who truly listen and engage. As we continue our exploration, remember to value your voice and seek out connections that resonate with authenticity and mutual respect. Stay tuned as we uncover the next character that might challenge your trust, the empathy-lacking individual, a cautionary tale. Our exploration brings us to a particularly challenging character type in relationships, the empathy-lacking individual. This person is marked by a distinct absence of understanding and compassion for others' feelings, making them a risky choice for placing your trust. The core of the issue Lack of emotional connection. The empathy lacking individual stands out due to their inability to connect emotionally with others. They may seem indifferent to people's struggles, unable to understand or share the feelings of those around them. This lack of empathy can lead to insensitive or harmful actions, making interactions with them potentially damaging. Recognizing the red flags key indicators of an empathy lacking individual include a disregard for others' emotions, a tendency to belittle or dismiss others' problems, and a lack of remorse for their hurtful actions. These traits can manifest in both personal and professional relationships, making them difficult to trust and rely on. Why empathy matters. Empathy is a cornerstone of meaningful and healthy relationships. It enables us to connect, understand, and support each other. 
Without it, relationships lack depth and can become one-sided, with one party potentially exploiting or hurting the other without concern. Navigating relationships with empathy lacking individuals. When dealing with someone who lacks empathy, it's essential to set boundaries and protect your emotional well-being. You might need to limit your emotional investment in them or even distance yourself to avoid potential harm. Remember, it's crucial to surround yourself with people who understand and respect your feelings. Final thoughts. Encountering. The empathy-lacking individual in the realm of relationships is a stark reminder of the importance of compassion and understanding. As we continue our exploration, be mindful of the value of empathy in building trust and fostering genuine connections. Let's move forward, seeking those who enrich our lives with emotional depth and sincerity. Stay tuned for the next personality type in our journey. The Irritation Provoker Navigating rough waters in relationships As we delve deeper into the intricate world of relationships, we encounter the Irritation Provoker. This individual has a peculiar knack for stirring up frustration, often leaving those around them feeling agitated and uneasy. Understanding the Provocation the irritation provoker is adept at pushing buttons. They seem to have a talent for saying or doing things that trigger annoyance, often subtly. It might be a snide remark, a dismissive gesture, or a habit of belittling your opinions. These provocations can be sporadic, but they leave a lasting impact, eroding the comfort and trust in a relationship. Recognizing the pattern's key signs of an irritation provoker include frequent sarcastic or undermining comments, a tendency to challenge or contradict you unnecessarily, disguising hurtful remarks as jokes or playful banter, a pattern of behavior that seems designed to test your patience or resilience. Why it's troublesome consistent irritation in a relationship is a red flag. It disrupts harmony and can lead to an environment of constant tension and discomfort. This behavior can also be a form of emotional manipulation where the provoker seeks to control or dominate the interaction by keeping you off balance, dealing with the irritation provoker. Handling someone who consistently irritates you requires a blend of assertiveness and emotional intelligence. It's important to Communicate clearly when their behavior is unacceptable. Maintain your composure and avoid reacting impulsively. Set boundaries to protect your emotional well-being. Consider if the relationship is beneficial or if distancing yourself is a healthier option. Moving forward. In navigating the choppy waters that the irritation provoker stirs, remember that your peace of mind is paramount. Relationships should uplift, not constantly challenge your patience. As we continue exploring different personality types, let's remain vigilant about who we let into our lives and how they affect our emotional landscape. Stay tuned for our next exploration. The perpetual problem-faced individual, a journey through constant struggle. In the realm of relationships, we often come across individuals who seem to be in a perpetual state of crisis, the perpetual problem-faced individual. Their life appears to be an unending series of challenges, crises and conflicts, often leading to a tumultuous relationship dynamic. Characteristics of the perpetual problem-faced individual. This individual is marked by a few distinct characteristics ever-present drama. Their life seems to be a continuous stream of problems, both big and small. Seeking sympathy. They often look for others to sympathize with their endless woes. Resistance to solutions. Despite the constant problems, there is a noticeable lack of effort in finding lasting solutions. Understanding the impact. 
engaging with someone who is always embroiled in problems can be draining. It often leads to emotional exhaustion. Being constantly exposed to someone else's troubles can take a toll on your emotional reserves. Negativity spread. Their continuous struggles can cast a shadow over your own life, spreading negativity. Dependency. They might start relying on you excessively for support, advice, and assistance. Navigating the relationship. Dealing with someone who is always faced with problems requires tact and emotional strength. Here's how to navigate this relationship. Set boundaries. It's important to establish limits on how much of their burden you are willing to shoulder. Offer constructive help. Instead of merely sympathizing, guide them towards finding solutions. Evaluate the relationship. Continuously ask yourself if this relationship is beneficial or detrimental to your well-being. Conclusion in the journey of life, everyone faces challenges, but being entangled in someone else's perpetual crisis can be overwhelming. As we continue exploring different personality types, it's crucial to recognize when a relationship is becoming unbalanced and draining. The goal is to foster healthy, supportive connections that enrich our lives, not ones that constantly pull us into a vortex of problems. Keep tuned for our next personality exploration. The Two-Faced Gossiper, Navigating the Dual Sides of Duplicity. Today's exploration brings us to a particularly challenging character in our social narratives, the Two-Faced Gossiper. This individual presents a facade of friendliness and trustworthiness, only to speak detrimentally about others behind their backs. Understanding and dealing with such a person is essential for maintaining the integrity of our social circles. Characteristics of the two-faced gossiper, chameleon-like persona. They adeptly switch between being amiable to your face and malicious in your absence. Spreading rumors. Their conversations often involve sharing negative or harmful information about others, seeking attention. Gossiping can be a tactic to grab the spotlight or manipulate social dynamics. The impact of their actions, engaging with a two-faced gossiper, can lead to several issues. Trust, erosion, discovering their duplicitous nature can significantly erode trust and respect. Damaged reputations, their penchant for gossip can harm reputations, including yours, creating divisions. Their actions can cause a rifts and misunderstandings within a group. How to handle the two-faced gossiper. Dealing with such individuals requires a strategic approach. Maintain caution. Be wary of sharing sensitive or personal information with them. Confront when necessary. If you catch them in the act, a direct confrontation might be necessary to address the behavior. Limit interaction. Reduce the time and depth of your interactions to protect yourself from potential harm. Final thoughts. Navigating the treacherous waters created by a two-faced gossiper is no easy feat. It requires a balance of tact, assertiveness and emotional intelligence. As we continue to delve into various personality types, remember that understanding and addressing these challenging behaviors is key to fostering healthier and more genuine relationships. Stay tuned for our next personality profile. The Toxic Personality – Identifying and Handling Destructive Traits Our journey into the landscape of trust and respect concludes with a critical examination of the toxic personality. This type is characterized by behaviors and attitudes that are detrimental to both individual well-being and the health of relationships. Recognizing and addressing the presence of such individuals in our lives is paramount. Traits of the toxic personality. Negativity. They often exude a persistent aura of negativity affecting those around them. Manipulation. Employing manipulative tactics to control or undermine others is a common trait. Emotional drain. Interactions with them tend to leave you feeling emotionally depleted or stressed. 
the impact of toxic personalities. Engaging with a toxic individual can lead to emotional turmoil. Prolonged exposure to their negativity can impact mental health, damage self-esteem, their critical or demeaning behavior can erode self-confidence, strained relationships. Their presence often causes conflicts and discomfort within social groups, strategies for dealing with toxic personalities. Handling a toxic personality involves setting boundaries, establish clear limits to protect your emotional well-being, assertive communication, confront their behavior assertively if it directly affects you, limit or end contact. Sometimes the healthiest option is to distance yourself or sever ties to preserve your peace of mind. Concluding the discussion in closing, understanding and effectively dealing with toxic personalities is crucial in maintaining a healthy social environment. As we wrap up this exploration of trust and relationships, remember that the ability to discern and address these challenging behaviors is key to nurturing positive and fulfilling connections. We hope this series has provided valuable insights into navigating complex social dynamics. If you found these discussions enlightening, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel for more on Stoicism and relationship wisdom. Share your experiences and thoughts in the comments below and let's continue to grow and learn together. Stay tuned for more insightful content. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Stay strong, stay calm, and stay stoic.